Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of flat bottom space plane parts, which is being made by forum user Ragin Caucasian, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, right there in the name, it's parts for building flat bottom space planes, and specifically ones in the 2.5 meter size category, which really is what drew me to this particular mod because, well, as a flat bottom space plane, it's really sort of going for the shuttle type aesthetic of an aircraft, and we already do have that in the form of the Mark III fuselage, but my problem with the Mark III is it's so freaking big, and I actually have a tendency when I want to do shuttles to build smaller sort of shuttle slash space planes, and so having a flat bottom space plane with that shuttle aesthetic but in a smaller 2.5 meter size really caught my eye. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at the currently six parts that make up this mod. Now it is still kind of in the early stages. This is the second release of the mod. I think as of today, as of time of recording, it just released version 1.1 and we're up to six parts now with more coming in the future and sadly because it's so early in development for this, we have no manufacturers tab, so I've just gone and set up a region Caucasian tab here, and you can see the six parts, of course, starting with the 2.5 meter flat bottom cockpit, which is going to be a necessity, of course, for any space plane. And it's quite a nice little design to it. I do like the stock-alike feel, pretty good texturing to it, modeling is nice, and of course, we should probably probably go and grab a Mark III cockpit for comparison's sake, because, well, it is kind of the same styling it's going for here. So let's just pop it in the back there, and as you can see, very, very similar, just a fraction of the size. And of course, a little bit more flat on the bottom rather than the more ovular shape of the Mark III, which is what I really enjoy about it. But overall, they have similar design sort of focuses to them, and I really, really enjoy it. It's a, it's a good little model, good little texture, very cool overall. Now, if we actually Actually go back to the tab and talk about stats it of course requires a minimum of one crew being you know a cockpit uh, but can hold up to three it does have a lift surface rating of 0.5 which is something you're gonna notice on all of these parts because one of the aims of these sort of flat bottom space planes in this pack is to have varying degrees of aerodynamic lift already to the fuselage themselves. Uh, we also, of course, do have a reaction wheel, a crew report, a 150 electrical charge, and lastly, 15 monopropellant. Overall, a pretty nice little cockpit, though I should add at the moment, there's currently no internal view. That is planned for the future, uh, but right now we have nothing, not even a placeholder internal like we see in a lot of other mods. So uh, no flying from the interior of this ship just yet. It is coming down the pipeline eventually, so uh, looking forward to that. But let's drop the Mark III and uh, take a look at the next part we have the list, which is a fuselage, a short fuselage rather, for liquid fuel. Now, the next three sort of parts are all the same size, all the same model, so let's just pull them all out. Just slight different variations in the texture. Uh, the first of which is, as I said, the liquid fuel tank, which holds 1,440 liquid fuel and has a uh, lift surface rating of 0.7. Now, the other pieces also have the lift rating of 0.7 for the other two fuselages. Uh, the next one in line is just a liquid fuel and oxidizer holding 720 liquid fuel and 880 oxidizer and the final one is purely a structural part so no fuel whatsoever but of course the mass is a heck of a lot lower so if you need to uh, stretch out your space plane a little bit but without having literally tons of fuel I mean look at this the liquid fuel tank mass of 7.65 tons the structural one is a mere 0.4 tons, so if you gotta lighten the ship up but you still want that length, a couple of these thrown in for good measure. 
Now the next part we have here is a slim monopropellant tank, which holds three, oh, no, but I'm looking at the cost, not the amount. Sorry about that, 280 monopropellant, and has a lift rating of 0.2, and that just goes right on the end there. And I do actually like the texturing on these and the sort of color coating of them with the uh, liquid fuel one having just the gray stripe, the liquid fuel and oxidizer having the more yellowish orange, the structural one just being the structural coloring, no other paint job to it. And finally, the monopropellant with the two yellow stripes. I do like that. It makes it a bit easier for you to remember which part of the ship has what, and it's just convenient. Now, the last part that we have here, uh, still unfortunately, has the name of the monopropellant tank because it is more or less a copy paste job on the text or the modeling rather texturing of course having the black stripe there instead of the double yellow and this is in fact a uh command pod well a drone core rather so it is unmanned it requires 1.5 electrical charge per minute to function also has a point to lift surface rating reaction wheel sas and finally 400 electric charge so overall a nice little probe core so just in case you do need to send up a shuttle to say perhaps pick up astronauts at your station, you can always send it up with the probe core, then load them into the cockpit and bring them back home. So a nice little addition, very cool indeed. Now as for future parts, uh, one of the things the mod maker is wanting to add is a cargo bay into here, uh, but apparently they don't know how to do animations quite yet, so they're learning that, and once they have that down pat, they will be adding that in, which most likely will just look like one of these same fuselage sections but open up. Now, of course, I did mention the internal view, which will be coming down the road. They also want to add in a flat bottom space plane fuselage to round 2.5 meter adapter so that you could put this on the end of a rocket and also a nose cone, which I was kind of confused about because, well, we already have a nose, but Okay, I'm intrigued to see it when it comes down the pipeline. But yes, for now, this is all we have, these six parts. But with them, you can make some pretty fun little craft. For instance, this crappy little... Oh, God, where is it? What did I name it? Oh, I've forgotten. I just named it Shuttle. How original of me. But there we go. I've built this crappy little shuttle, which surprisingly flies. <laughs> but yeah, just a, a small, tiny little tiny shuttle. I, I was running out of other words for small there. But yes, uh, this is an example of something you could build with this. And I can actually imagine some interesting usage for a shuttle of this small size. Remember again, Mark III freaking gigantic comparatively and you'll need or you'll have rather a much larger shuttle design but something like this you could shove quite easily on the back or the side of another rocket uh, potentially you know attach one of these to a deep space vessel that you then use this for landing on a planet's surface uh, you know the possibilities are quite endless but let's go and have a launch of this and See how it flies. I actually haven't flown this thing yet. I built it before making the video and went, oh, that looks like a cute little shuttle, but I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if it works. All right, now remember all of these fuselage pieces have additional lift ratings to them. So we should get some decent lift, though granted with the sort of stubby design to this thing, I don't know if we're actually gonna take off before the end of the runway. But at least with the uh, ledge at the end, we should be able to take off there. Let's try and pull back. Nope, not pulling back. All right, and we're good. We're good. We're in the air. We're fine. <laughs> All right, we're actually going quite fast, though. Let's throttle this baby down and just enjoy the beautiful looking design of this thing. Ah, yes, a tiny, tiny little shuttle. And this is why I like it. As I said earlier in this uh, episode, I, I kind of like building smaller craft as for my sort of atmospheric craft. When I'm in space, I love building huge deep space vessels, but for going back and forth between the surface of a planet and you know, orbit, 
I always rather prefer smaller things, so having this 2.5 meter shuttle design it just makes me happy. And well, overall it's quite a good look to it, good modeling, good texturing, and so uh, a good little addition to my games. Oh god, I'm oh, I'm going to crash now. <laughs> I've gone out of control because I'm a horrible pilot. Okay, let's see if we can recover this. Oh, I think we need more power. I think that's why. <laughs> we don't have enough lift. Okay, okay. We're good, folks. We're good. We're still surviving somehow. Uh, but yes, this has been the Flat Bottom Space Plane Parts Mod, which if you would like to check out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description. And I definitely say to go and give it a try. It's a nifty little parts pack, which again, will have more things added to it in the future. Uh, but for now, that's really all I've got for this mod. I hope you have enjoyed, and of course that you do you know, come back for the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!